Hey, I'm Cliff, and these are my notes to the Fortress of Bookatoon! From forth the fatal loins of these two foes, a pair of star-crossed lovers take their life. Boom! That's how William Shakespeare kicks off Romeo and Juliet. You know they're gonna die. He tells you right in the beginning. But it's how he plays with that impending sense of doom that makes this such a classic. And it begins in the fair town of Verona. With a feud between two powerful families. All right, enough of this garbage. The Montagues <laughs> and the Capulets. <laughs> From now on, fighting will be punishable by death. Makes sense, right? But Romeo, the only son of Sir Montague, doesn't care about the feud. He's too busy wallowing in self-pity over his unrequited love for Lady Rosalind. A Capulet. Sad hours seem so long. He's a total emo. Meanwhile, Sir Capulet is approached by Paris, a nobleman who wants to marry Juliet, Capulet's only daughter. I'm also rich. Welcome to the family. Tonight we'll have a masked ball and you can woo the heck out of her. Dad, don't I get a say in this? That's one of the themes of the play, dear. Romeo, hoping to bust a move on Lady Rosalind, decides to crash the party with his entourage. Oh dear, my dreams foretell some consequence hanging in the stars. Oh great, Romeo's talking about his feelings again. But instead, our hasty and impetuous boy finds love at first sight with Juliet. Did my heart love till now? Forswear its sight, for I ne'er saw true beauty till this night. But when Romeo finds out that Juliet is a Capulet, and Juliet finds out that Romeo is a Montague, our star-crossed love affair begins as they always do, with a total stalker move. Romeo, Romeo, wherefore art thou, Romeo? What light through yonder window breaks? Tis the east, and Juliet is the sun! See how mature their love is? OMG, that was like so hot. Mm -hmm. Let's totes get married. I'll get a priest. I'm okay. The next morning, Romeo explains his newfound love to Friar Lawrence. Holy St. Francis! Young men's love lies not truly in their hearts, but in their eyes. No, man, it's true love. It's hella true, dude. But wait, a marriage between the families. This could end the feud. I'm a genius. But the feud is escalated when Tiddled sends Romeo a challenge to a duel. So Romeo tells the nurse to have Juliet meet him at Friar Lawrence's for a secret wedding, and then to meet back at her place for the secret consummation. These violet delights have violent ends, and in their triumph die like fire and powder, which, as they kiss, consume. I now pronounce you man and wife. And they lived happily ever after. Oh, wait, that's right, this is Shakespeare. Romeo, thou art a villain! No, I'm not! Man up, Romeo! This rat catch is trying to kill you! Uh. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Dude, Romeo is so banished. And things go from bad to worse when Juliet's dad tries to comfort her by moving her wedding to Paris from Thursday to Wednesday. And Romeo wants to kill himself. But Friar Lawrence tells him to go have a secret honeymoon, then lay low in Mantua for a while until he comes up with a brilliant plan. Okay, I got it, I got it, I got it. Tell your parents you'll marry Paris, then drink this potion. The roses in thy lips and cheeks shall fade like death when he shuts up the day of life. This is your brilliant plan. But only for 48 hours. Then I'll send for Romeo and he'll take you with him to Mantua. Beats marrying Mr. Perfect. I'm so handsome, la 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 la. Wedding, funeral, either way, we're not getting our deposit back on the flowers. But Romeo never hears of Friar Lawrence's plan because an outbreak of the plague closed the roads. He does, however, hear about Juliet. Excuse me, I'd like some poison, please. Be careful, stuff will kill you. Have a nice day. No! <laughs> a grave robber. I'll fix your wagon. Ah, didn't see that coming. Here's to my love. And thus, with a kiss, I die. Where is my Romeo? Ah, nuts. Oh, happy dagger, this be thy sheath. Then rust and let me die. Blech. Oops. A gloomy peace this morning with it brings, for never was a story of more woe than this of Juliet and Romeo. They loved each other so much. That's one of the themes of the play, dear. 
Tragic ending, right? I guess that's why they call it a tragedy. But what exactly caused their deaths? Was it Romeo's impulsiveness? Juliet's rebellion against her parents? Friar Lawrence's meddling? The family feud? Or was it written in the stars? Hmm? Now, some scholars think that this is the most important question of the play. Was it fate or free will? What do you think? I think I'm gonna switch to online dating. I love these jeggings! <laughs>